Um, and as per usual, I will be just trying elementary and I won't be installing it. And so let that load up and once you've clicked your option, you get the desktop screen. So uh, here we are and um, as you can see it's, it has a very elegant design. You have the panel at the bottom, or not the panel, the dock at the bottom. <laughs> So as you can see, you have the dock at the bottom, you have the panel at the top. Uh, it took me a couple tries to get that right, but um, yeah, so here to the far left we have the applications. In the middle we have the clock and the date, and then we have the system tray icons. Um, so here we have the sound, the network, notifications, and you can log out, log back in. And so let's take a look at what applications are offered. Uh, so here's the App Center, which a lot of people talk about this and a lot of people like it. Uh, we're actually going to get back to this in a second. Okay, actually I'll just ignore that for now. So we have a calculator, calendar, camera. Uh, for the web browser, this is actually an interesting choice. The Epiphany web browser, I've actually never seen this browser before that's pretty interesting um, the one thing I can say that I like about it is the fact that the bar right here um, seems to be kind of minimalistic looking it seems to fit the whole theme we're going for here um, and also if you've noticed uh, when you maximize a window the panel becomes black okay so we have the file manager, partition editor, which is always good, especially uh, at the beginning when you're installing it. Then we have the installer itself, uh, mail client, uh, multitasking view, music, photos, scratch. Let's take a look at what this is. Okay, so this is just a text editor, screenshot, simple scan, and then we have a second page. Uh, the settings terminal and then videos this is um, okay so this is just a media player I thought that because it kinda had the YouTube logo uh, I thought it was something else so um, here we have the terminal actually has a very nice theme going on uh, really liking this okay so let's take a look at the App Center so looking at the App Center we have a very nice um, like default view here uh, so when you enter the home page you can see all these categories right here uh, which is a great way of being able to access certain programs uh, like for example let's say I want a browser let's say I want to change it to Firefox you can go to internet uh, and then we have our options here now because I don't um, I, I actually do have a connection I, I do uh, have a connection to the internet but the thing is is that I'm on a virtual machine and I'm just testing it things out so that's why the system hasn't been installed it hasn't been updated you know nothing's updated Every, everything's just pure minimalistic and just uh, viewing it off uh, just bare metal right so that's why uh, you can see that um, the, it, the software center is kind of lacking but again this is only because this is for my part um, but once it's installed you will most likely have a wide variety of um, you know programs and all the type of stuff to take a look at so but here as you see we have the categories and um, we have some nice um, options here like Steam for example that's definitely a must uh, when it comes to games um, but it's not so much so what it has to offer uh, because you and there they are there are the updates which I definitely need to install um, and that is also a showcase of the notifications which is very nice um, but uh, again if you want to install something it doesn't have to be through the uh, default software center you can also do it through the terminal and whatnot um, 
so again of course you have your options but the good thing about this is just how nice and organized everything is i think that um, this looks very nice and it's simple you know uh, and a lot of people are debating whether ubuntu should still be considered the distro that you know uh, new users should check out or if it should be elementary os and let me just say this uh, considering how simplistic everything is you know it's it's not bloated at all you have your main programs that you need if you need anything else you can just easily install it from here right um, or if you have some specific programs you can uh, of course install them or look them up yourself and um, but as a whole uh, it's good that for for like a general audience this definitely appeals to uh, like these type of programs appeal to pretty much everyone you know it's always nice to have a simple text editor photo viewer or media player music player you know or just basic stuff you know to access your files i mean um especially for someone who wants simplicity this is all you need right a browser right here files you know to access your documents your music you know pictures all that type of stuff oops and then you have your music player media player text editor and if you want extra applications you have your app center right here um, and again the app center I've heard a lot of good stuff about it uh, and just taking a look at it even without seeing what programs it has to offer completely um, I can definitely see that it looks very organized clean and simple um, and also we have a panel here which I'm assuming this is the plank so if you do control right click you should be able to uh, look at the preferences unfortunately not a lot of people uh, especially new users may not know about this but this is nice because um, you know you could put this to the right or to the left um, and you know you can adjust that and you can also adjust the theme to whatever you'd like uh, and also you can also adjust the icon size and um, and also the behavior so you can make it always invisible and you can make it uh, always visible you know so you have your options here which is nice um, I think that the setup like I said is very simple very clean I like it one thing if you notice yourself trying this out you will notice that um, there really isn't a right click option and this might kind of seem annoying to some users uh, I have actually tried this distro out a couple of months ago uh, and that was the one thing that I did not like is that it was simple but it was a bit too simple now for something like the uh, file manager of course you have a lot of options here you can show the hidden files uh, I, I really like how easy it is to just toggle the hidden files on it or off because other file managers tend to have them like right here somewhere in the settings which by the way you also can change the view and look of things uh, so that's also very nice um, I mean again you don't really need a right click but let's say you want to make a new file or something like that you can really right click the desktop uh, and so maybe a new user who might want to change the background they might not really know about that but thankfully here down here at the panel we have the system at, uh, system settings and here we have all these settings um, in categories as well so that's really nice how everything is simplified and you have your personal hardware network and administration uh, settings so uh, in terms of applications we can choose which default applications we want uh, which is nice uh, so say someone likes VLC and doesn't really like whatever um, video player this one they can easily change that or with uh, startup let's say someone wants to use something like Skype you can easily uh, do that as well here for desktop um, again you know uh, people even if they're like completely new to Linux and are wondering how the heck they can change the background it's pretty simple right you have everything you need right here at the uh, dock you have the system settings and then on the settings I think that it's pretty easy to infer that desktop would refer to the backgrounds 
Uh, so let's take a look at the backgrounds here. I must say that let me just put these like put this at the bottom here. I must say that I definitely like all of these backgrounds and, and one thing that I really do like is how um, high resolution everything is like everything looks crisp and clear. You know, I've seen a lot of distros that have uh, a ton of wallpapers, but um, you know, never have I seen a distro have wallpapers this crisp and clear. I think this looks very nice. Um, but I think I'll stick to this one because it seems the most vibrant. Um, yeah, that definitely looks nice. Would you look at that? All right, so let's go back to the settings. So we have language and region. You can change a bunch of stuff here. Um, so you can change the region, the language, all that type of stuff. Uh, and just like any other type of distro or, or whatever, you can change your keyboard layout uh, if you need to. Uh, notifications, you can adjust your notification settings. Um, let's go back. Oops. In terms of color, so this is more, uh, yeah, hardware related. Um, so really all you would need to change in terms of personalization is just the desktop pretty much. Um, and if you want to change the mouse, you can't really, it doesn't seem like you can really change the theme, um, but you have your options to change the mouse and the keyboard settings as well. Um, so, you know, like just as a quick look, as a quick overview from if you were to put this on a USB and try it out on your system, this is basically what you'll see, basically what you'll be able to experience. Uh, and you know basically this is what will I mean if like of course installing the system is going to give you um, a lot more stuff to look at like for example have a working half center um, but the thing is is that yeah there we go it's because of the lack of updates but if you were to just try this out right now this is basically what you're looking at uh, what what it is what elementary os is as a whole um and so this is this next part i'm just going to talk about my opinion on this uh, so if you just wanted to see what kind of features this distro can offer uh, then yeah that's pretty much the end of that part of the video uh, but the next part is just me uh just stating my opinion on whether this should be the next distro to be considered as the best distro for new users uh, and let me just say this um, in comparison to what Ubuntu is right now um, I think that I would say that this is definitely a great starting point um, but it's certainly not for everyone um, so again uh, especially for people who don't really have too much knowledge on computers or just want something simple uh, to to use to kind of introduce them to Linux uh, is great because like I said like right here in the applications you just have uh, just the staple um, applications that you would need um, the panel is very simple and also the uh, dock right here has all the main stuff you would want to access quickly. Uh, the file manager seems pretty nice. The browser itself is nice, but um, you know, I think as a whole it's great. Um, and it's it's also good the fact that it doesn't have too many settings, uh, for example, to customize. Like I said, you can only customize pretty much the wallpaper, the dock, and the hot corners. Um, but that's about it. You can't really customize uh, any like icon themes or anything like that. And, and I'm just speaking out of the box, you know, with the settings that you're given, like right here, because of course you can do that type of stuff manually. Um, but if it's for someone who already has been using Linux, I'm not sure I would uh, necessarily recommend this to those type of users simply because of the fact that I've, like I've said before, I, I've tried this in the past and, you know, I mean, it's good. 
I like the simplicity, but it does definitely limit you, you know, uh, and I guess simplicity can be a good thing uh, for certain users, but a bad thing for others. Uh, because say if you just love customizing your system, uh, while well, you're going to be wondering, well, how can I customize the panel? I can't really right click on it. I can't really do anything here. Um, you know, like if you want the panel to be at the bottom or something, um, or like for example, um, even just something as simple as changing the background. You can't really right click on the desktop. You have to go to the settings and then go here. Um, which again, it's it kind of just makes certain sacrifices to appeal to certain users. But like I said, uh, in turn to that, I don't think that uh, it would appeal to every type of user. I mean, just like with any other distro. Um, but as a whole, I would say this is great. Uh, for beginner users and like I said I would definitely recommend this to someone who's uh, who wants to try out Linux uh, but if you've already been using Linux I I'd, I'd recommend trying it out definitely for sure um, but would I recommend it over other distros no so that was pretty much it uh, thanks for watching hopefully this video was informative hopefully I didn't drag it on too long if you have any questions or anything like that just write down in the comments i'll be sure to try and help uh and yeah that was pretty much it thanks for watching